Good morning everyone, this is Vic Lee and we are here in Alhambra, California or outskirts of LA. Uh, first of all, this is our final day in LA so I'm trying to make this day count as much as possible. Uh, so anyways, we're out to grab some food, uh, some Hong Kong style breakfast food. Uh, well, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the homie Derek from Champion Chicago for hooking us up me with this awesome t-shirt. Uh, Derek, thank you very much. Thank you to the people from Champion Chicago. You guys has been so nice to me. Uh, huge shout out to you guys. Huge respect. Give me a thumbs up as always. But yeah, I'll leave the description out below. Follow them on IG. Cool people. Cool place to visit out in Wicker Park. Make sure to go check them out. We're gonna go grab some breakfast right now. And uh, yeah, be right back. So we're at a place called Whole Gay Cafe for some early morning breakfast. It's now uh, 9 o'clock. We're gonna grab some early morning breakfast first and then after that we're gonna be heading to the temple. Fresh Hong Kong milk tea. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, very authentic. It's really, I'm very happy right now. Very authentic milk tea. Ball of pao, or in English they translate it called the pineapple bun. A, a slice or a slice or two of that butter. In between, very authentic Hong Kong style uh, 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 breakfast uh, breakfast item. Definitely nice butter inside. The egg, it's like an egg yolk on top of it. Mm, oh yeah, very delicious one ton noodle soup. Authentic Hong Kong style version of it. Awesome noodles, fresh noodles on a one time. Mm. I love these egg noodles. These are actually very tasty egg noodles. Very authentic. A very good chew to it. You know, fresh egg made tons. Mm. Oh, that's very tasty. Guys, guys. All shrimp. Yeah, it's not just like shrimp, like a mint shrimp. It's all entire piece of shrimp right here. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Authentic shrimp crepes or uh, shrimp rice noodle rolls. Very authentic. Oh yes, this is uh, absolutely what I came here for. Oh yeah, the shrimp is actually very amazing. Some very delicious rice noodles, wrap noodles. Very silky smooth. The shrimp is nice and plumped, and then the, the, the crepes are just absolutely amazing. It's very smooth. It goes right in. Isn't this the coolest spoon ever? The food was absolutely uh, delicious, very tasty, um, Hong Kong style breakfast, one ton noodle soup, we had a shrimp rice roll, and we also had that fresh Hong Kong uh, style uh, milk tea, hot and cold. Oh man, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I definitely recommend coming here if you have a chance to come here. I'll link in the description down below, check it out, it's in San Gabriel. Oh man, awesome. What's going on guys? So we are here in Hacienda Heights out here at the Si Lai Temple. Huge Buddhist temple with over possibly 100,000 square feet, 15 acres of just beautiful architecture and just a wonderful spiritual place to go visit i'm gonna come out here and we're going to explore more of the sea light temple it's a huge beautiful place i'm actually very excited to come here so yes let's keep on walking
anyways, this uh, huge uh, temple was built, uh, constructed and finished in 1988. It took 10 years to build. Uh, a little history about this place is, uh, this was actually inspired during the time of the Ming Dynasty. And during that time, also around the 1200 period to 1600 period, the Queen, the Queen, the Queen Dynasty, the King Dynasty, which was between the 1600 period to 1900 period. So a lot of architecture history was based on, on this design alone. And also sea line, the meaning of sea line means coming to the West. So during that time, Buddhists was trying to spread awareness and teachings to the West. So which came to LA. So that's how the name originated of this temple, which is called the Sea Light Temple. It means coming to the West. I'm go explore more of this place. It's a huge, beautiful temple. Oh man, can't wait to see more right now. how big this place is it's almost it's almost like a a, a ancient city in the, in China where all the emperors live but in fact that this is a a temple which really amazed me oh man it's like going back to China in a way too very beautiful elegant design simply simply amazing so nice so nice Oh man, the, the Buddhist temple is beautiful. It's absolutely awesome. If you have time, come out to come out here to uh, Hacienda Heights. Beautiful temple, beautiful place. Um, just absolutely just blown away by the architecture of the Sea Sea Light Temple. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I'll be back here next time. Definitely when I'm in LA again, I'll be definitely be visiting here once again. But yes, anyway, signing off for right now. So anyways guys, we are here at Nip 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 Tan Tan. I'm a big fan of Ban uh, Gan Gu, which is a tapioca noodle with crab. But this one, this place specializes in tapioca noodle with lobster. So Ban Gan Lobster, how amazing does that sound right now? I'm very excited today, very excited to try this dish, a lobster noodle soup. This is the Ban Gan Lobster. Oh, lobster noodle soup. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You are crazy. Yeah, we're big man. Oh, you're big man. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got to eat that. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay. Don't play. Yeah, Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, very good. She was teaching me how to tackle this dinner. Grab a scissor, cut the shell, and use this to open the, uh, the shell. But anyways, they have so many bean sprouts in there. Oh, bean sprouts. That looks nice. Nice rich tapioca noodles. Mmm. I one thing. Squeeze a little lemon inside. Try the broth really quick. Nah, that's a nice, rich, uh, 
uh, broth made with the lobster. Try to put the something with the lobster. Lots of fried garlic inside. Fried onions inside. Oh, the noodles are great. So first things first, this lobster has to put on the side to stick it all the space away. Then I have room to eat the entire meal as is. Yeah. I love this time. This noodle has a very chewy texture. It's tapioca dish. It's almost have the same texture as uh, milk tea balls or the bubble balls. Exact same texture of it. But it's more smoother because it's softer because it's already a soup inside. But it cooks it while you're eating it. Mm. Amazing broth of broth. Lobster broth. This beautiful lobster. This came out with the Bun bunkum. So I always gotta work with the, uh, the lobster to make that tail. You see the juice is flowing out of it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. One full lobster tail. Let me try it right now. Mmm, that's very fresh. Very tasty. Very tasty. I want to try some of that sauce too. Try some of that special green sauce they have for you. Mmm, okay. It's not too bad. Yeah. Try with some of that tamarind sauce. Mmm. Oh man. The lobster tail is nice and juicy, very fresh. Just came off the just came off the shell. Simply delicious. Put that uh, lobster really quick. See that uh, that fries underneath the shell. Oh, oh, okay. It kind of broke a little bit, but yeah. See that right here. You're not too bad. Dip in some of that uh, green sauce. Oh. That is very good. We also have the scallops, uh, skillet scallops and snails, some creamy spices on it, lots of uh, uh, fried onions and maybe some garlic. Looks like it's cooked with some kind of fish sauce possibly. It's really hot. Very hot. So what I gotta do is, gotta let it cool down for a little bit. The, the snail out of it. And the, the one boss lady was like, dip this sauce. Make sure to dip this sauce. Make sure to dip this sauce with the snail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super smooth. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a sweet tamarind sauce. A garlic tamarind sauce, sweet, a little sourish. The, the snails are kind of got uh, salt and pepper with fish sauce, uh, some seasoning, and then the sauce is like a sweet tamarind sauce. You put it all together, it's like a really, really tasty bite. It's that scallop, delicious scallop. Put some of that, uh, that special uh, green sauce that they recommended. I forgot some of that sauce in here. Oh, wow. That's very good. Nicely seasoned very well. Delicious spice. The sauce is actually very good too. A little, a little kick to it. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, I love it. I'm in love with this. The food was very delicious. The lobster was nice and fresh. The noodles were actually very good too as well too. The clams, the uh, snails, very on point. Yeah, I'd give this place a second chance if I'm ever in the uh, LA area again. Noodle soup, bun gun food, I mean bun gun lobster. So yeah. Anyways, sign off right now. Final spot tonight. And uh, yeah, back home to Chicago. The first restaurant I've been to when I was in LA, the first time around. So this place brings back a lot, a lot of memories. One thing about it, the greatest milk tea, Hong Kong milk tea in the world. I miss it so much. This place was one of the best milk teas I've ever had in the West. One goes to the one in Toronto by that the, uh, Pacific Mall. That one, the grandma, that had one milk tea. This is the second best in the West, in North America. And that belongs to JJ Hong Kong Cafe. This one. Guys, this is the only place that I know of that offered free refills on the milk tea. The greatest milk tea there is in the West Coast. I put this as number one ranked milk tea of all time. Literally the best, best place for Hong Kong milk tea goes to JJ Hong Kong Cafe. Basically, it's rich, so rich, so creamy, sweet, enough milk, and it's just rich. It is rich in flavor. Guys, today is my last day here in LA. I'm heading to the airport. Uh, it's kind of crazy though. Check this out. It's cloudy. A little moist, a little wet now. The days I was here in LA for the past four or five days, it has been sunny, hot, and just beautiful weather all day long. I feel like it's a blessing that they provide me with such great weather for me to film. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit cloudy today. It might, it might actually rain. I'm not even sure, but yes. I'm very happy to say that uh, this trip was a success. I wanna say thank you for everyone for viewing this video. Uh, for all the, the past episodes that I've been showing. Anyways, I'm heading to the airport, heading back home to Chicago. Uh, yeah, it has been a, a very remarkable journey. Thank you for viewing. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the thumbs up, and make sure to hit the bell button for next time. So anyways, see you guys back in Chicago. Peace.